ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the second game in the Metro series. My name is Brian, your host and commentator. And here we are. <laughs> I, know, I know what a lot of people are thinking. They're like, oh man, he's done with Dark Souls 2, or Dark Souls 2 is not going to... But no, that's not the case, you know. I just... Dark Souls 2 is a big endeavor, um, as far as, like, a game goes. It's, you know, Dark Souls is difficult, and I kind of have to, I don't know, I kind of have to, like, play through it first before I record and stuff. Much like this game, but this game is much easier, much easier to, uh, plan out, figure shit out, so that's why I decided I need time to, like, play through Dark Souls 2 and get ready for the recording, and I also, I know I said it earlier that I'm probably going to do a game in between or whatever uh, not in between but while I am playing uh, playing actually I can take these hints off aim mode difficulty hardcore I think that's it and I know I've also told people that uh, I'm also changed my preset make it this one preset 3 seems to be the best one this is kind of like the halo preset I guess which is generally what I use for like or like the original Halo or Halo 2, like the recon preset, which is what I usually use when I play uh, first-person shooters. I do not like the right thumbstick being melee. I like B to be melee, or circle, I guess, if you're a PlayStation fan, but no one cares. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, here we are, Metro Last Light. I even, I, I've told, I think, one or two people that I was going to do this at some point this year, and it's been, you know, about two years since I did the original. And the new game has been announced. They announced a third game in the series, so I figured I should probably play through this one and take care of it. So by the time the third one comes out, I can crush that one. I don't know. It sounded like a good idea to me. So that's what we're going to do. In this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to get all the collectibles. And by all the collectibles, I mean all the diaries. It's really the only collectible. The game also has moral points, but those are those are a little interesting. So I'm probably not going to be worrying about those and you know stuff like that. So... Anyway, that's going to be, uh, our 100% walkthrough is going to encompass us completing the game and collecting all the diaries. Because I don't care about achievements or trophies, and those moral points can suck my dick. So, here we are, we have Survival and Spartan, with ammo and filters and short supply, deadlier combat, and more challenging stealth. Survival style offers players the original survival horror at uh, oriented experience of Metro 2033 with an emphasis on resource management and tense combat. That sounds like my type of fucking game right there. And then you have Spartan. Enjoy the more forgiving combat and stealth experience of Metro Last Light when Spartan style is selected. Perfect for players who like fast-paced, more action-oriented gameplay. Ammo filters and other resources are also more plentiful. That's fucking stupid. I'm not doing that. That's like for bros. Alright, so survival. I'm also going to be playing on Ranger Hardcore. And this is a little different because I didn't do this in the other one. I think I played... uh with the HUD on, like, in, in Ranger mode, you lose the HUD, the user interface, and, like, all hints are uh, disabled. I don't know why I turned hints <laughs> on, then, if they're all going to be disabled. But this is apparently the most immersive Metro experience ever. So, yeah, you have Normal, and then you have Hardcore, which is more difficult. And then you have Ranger, which is where all that shit's disabled, but it's still Normal mode. And then you have Ranger Hardcore. And since I'm not a pussy, I'm going to play Ranger Hardcore. Not that if you play normal or whatever, you're a pussy. I'm just saying. And I'm also going to have this all the way up. This uh, gamma thing all the way up. Just so you guys can see. Because this is a pretty dark game as far as like visuals go. So. The dark ones came much later. From the garden's direction. The dark ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth <laughs> is even scarier. All right, so here we are. We got ourselves a little introduction. We're gonna start off with. We're hanging out at D6, as you can see on the map. 
which is where we ended the last game off at, was D6, where we launched that nuke or whatever to destroy all the Dark Ones. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> what happened? Dark ones. Shit. This dude's just sitting here with a knife. Oh shit. fuck. Shit. What's going on? What are you guys waiting for? Shoot him! Shoot him! Ah! Ah! Oh god! Ah! 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 Oh fuck! Ah! Well, I just like teleported. Oh no! All these guys were my comrades. What have I done? No! <laughs> No! Blood on my hands. Their blood. Oh, fuck me. Artyom, wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive. And I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact. Before you launched the missile strike against them. Missile. Khan. I like it. How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. All right. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. Sounds good, Khan. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe. <laughs> I used to be a smoker. I'm not gonna lie, though. I really like cigarettes. Alright, so I know you can get a moral point if you play your guitar. I think. I don't know how to... Oh, the X button. Or the square. Yeah, you see how the screen had a little light up there? Or a little flash? That was a moral point that we got. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can get one by listening to this, uh, the guitar on the other side of the room, but I think it takes a few minutes, so I don't know if I want to sit here and, <laughs> and, uh, listen to it. Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. On the spot? I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? The story is, construction started in Stalin's time and went on until the USSR broke down. War was inevitable, they said. The people believed in a better future. Our leaders put their money on Armageddon. And did D6 save them? No. They couldn't reach it in time. And here, it stood for 30 years until our guys stumbled on You also get a moral point for listening Everything to these guys. Everything inside was untouched. Weapons, medicine. <laughs> like finding buried treasure, eh? I suppose it's nice down here since they got the reactor working. The lights, the heat. But still, it doesn't feel right. Like, it's too damn good, you know? Quit whining. It's a gift from your ancestors. Enough to survive down here for decades. Maybe until the world up there will take us back. There we go. Got the moral point. This guy's rocking out in here. I don't think you get anything from this. I just want to show this off. He's got a lot of books and tapes. That's cool. I do like how they give these people like personalities, I guess, and like I don't know. Stories or whatever. 
Uh, like I said, I won't get all the moral points. I'll just try and get the easier ones. Show those off. <coughs> that guy's cleaning his gun or something. This guy's writing. He's got a lot of books in there, too. I guess that's all you could really do is, like, read books and listen to music down here. All right. This guy must be patching him up. and flags and walk along them so you don't drown them. A child could do it. Well, okay, the shrimps always gave you hell. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanovs alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people. He just speaks to God. <laughs> but Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to get a moral point for listening to them. Tighten your gut. What's with the beer belly? Good. Doing good. Come on. There's also... I don't know. Some... I don't know. Let's just continue. Um, you can also get another moral point, actually, I think, for playing the Balalaika here. Respect me. Yep, there's another one. Cool. Balalaika. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm not sure, though. All right. Let's head in here. Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation's still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. All right, let's pick up our gas mask with Don't X. Forget filters for the mask. <coughs> That's the action sure, button. Don't looks forget. Cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. We'll take those. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. <laughs> Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage. But saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. I don't know, man. By the end of the first game, I had a shit ton of extra military-grade ammo. <laughs> All right. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. All right. This is the gun selection right here. Um, so I'm going to go with the... Probably gonna go with this valve because I want like a kind of medium to long range single shot gun. So I'm gonna rock that out. You can even customize these a little bit too, like right out the gate. Put a little sight on it if you want. I'm gonna do that. Put these reflex sights on it. And then uh, let's go ahead and also select. Let's see, I want the shotgun. Shambler. Seems like a good, uh, good balance there. Optics. I guess I'll try that out, see how the reflex sight goes on that. Muzzle, okay. So this will decrease shot spread and lead to damage fall off. That sucks. Makes them more efficient at medium and long range, but tightening the... See, I don't really need either of these, actually. I think I kind of... I want this for, like, a close range, though. Good hunting. Come. How was that gun? Like it? <laughs> yes. Want to try another gun? I have a fine selection. Complete training sequence. Anyway, you can come over here to the firing range and test them out if you want. Get wrecked. So there's that gun. Let's go ahead and switch over to this one now. Ooh. I believe you get a moral point if you sit here at the firing range for a hot minute. I don't know how long it's going to take. It takes two hours to leave. And pull this bad boy out again. I'm gonna light this up. <laughs> Let him up. 
don't worry about wasting ammo. There's an ammo box right here that is indeed sometimes glitched, but you can, uh, I don't know. I think you have to, like, I don't know if you have to, I think you have to go back to the weapon rack and change out your gun or something in order to reset it, to unglitch it or something. Did you hear the order? You're not to disclose the fact that D6 has been found to anyone in the metro. The colonel says someone already spilled the beans. The stations are crawling with rumor. Each flight crazier than the last. Sure. Food for 10 million super weapons, secret machinery. And others claim there's a radio down here powerful enough to contact the bunkers in Siberia, where the president and the government are holed up. Yeah, it's madness. Madness. That's all you got to say? We're gonna get irradiated here for damn sure. No way, the base is clear. At least the part we're in. They've checked it. Yesterday, the commander and I checked the doors. Lots of them are still sealed. Some are welded shut. And there's a few that look like they were These guys all sound the same. So what? Same voice so actor. There's radioactive shit behind some of those doors. Hot enough to bake an egg. Can't remember the last time. I ate an egg. Look. There's a reactor here, right? On the other side of the facility. I'm not sure it's safe here. Maybe this place wasn't designed as a shelter. What else? No idea, but I wouldn't talk to any of the sealed doors. Miller's calling the group leaders here. I guess not. Anyway, you can get another moral point by listening Please, to these guys. Let me smoke in peace. I was on duty in the situation room yesterday, so I heard something. Seems like there's all kinds of things stirring up. What do you mean? The Reds are mobilizing. They've recruited old men, schoolboys, sent them off to training camps. I tell you, war is coming. Who are they going to fight? The usual suspects, probably. The Nazis. Yeah, that reminds me. You said your stop so spot the three Egon groups of Reich Stokers. Stokers. Nazis have never been seen in such numbers before. Three groups, you said? Where? Two of the squads came close to this place. Observe so. The Nazis checked the base, the sellers, as if they were searching for an entry point. <laughs> Shit. Think they know we found D6? How to say? Probably. Maybe. This look good. If they do try to get in, they're finished. Miller has tripled the guards. True. He knows about the Nazis. But if we eliminate the scouts, they just seem more. But if they do get in, you think the Order can hold off the Reich? Slow down. The Order is neutral. We are the guardians of the entire metro. We protect our fellow humans from monsters and mutants. What state of them went to war against us? Let me finish the story. It was a third group of Nazis, were really. They were seen at exhibition at the surface. We had centers there, scalpel at most. They were reporting in, said the Nazis were charging them, and the line went dead. Wait, Rost is missing in action? Yeah, missing. He was found dead. Along with Scalp. A dozen rounds in each of them. Finished with headshots. Shit. It was just his birthday last week. We had a drink. What kind of sick fucker would do that to him? Oh, maybe you don't get a moral point like I thought you did. That's cool, though. <clears throat> yeah, his first stage is kind of boring. So, you're an expert. Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. A lot of talking. <laughs> Here at the Ranger. Have you heard about Lesnitsky? Facility. What are you talking about? Check with the guards at the lab. Shit. What the hell did he do? Opening up. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. First, I get on first. Haha. <laughs> Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this banker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold steel, and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts. Or their own greed. Khan, will you shut up or what? <laughs> this guy does not like Khan. Hey, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? 
Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The Colonel's going to kill me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right. Yeah, we gotta go talk to <coughs> Colonel Miller. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they based the order dreamed of finding the guys just came back from the Yeah, it's true. They say cancer is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Alright, I'm not gonna sit here and listen to all these guys. You don't really get any. Hey, anyone know what the buzz is about? Why the summons or anything? I hear the Reds are mobilizing. This episode's Miller gonna be running a little long. Take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Let's hear what he has to yeah. say at the assembly. All right, go on there. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. Yeah, so remember the Fourth Reich, the Nazis, the bombing of the and the New Red Army or whatever? Humanity's worst mistake. I remember those guys. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. Sure. All right. It was good, Kit. Colonel you, Miller. God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the Guardians. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Connor, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artem, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't. It's murder. Restrain him. You idiot. You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom, it's your last chance for forgiveness, for getting rid of the nightmares! <laughs> Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close, too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming and I'll need every ranger at his post. Now on your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. I believe she is his daughter. But <clears throat> if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent. Oh, yeah, let's listen to this. Verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. <coughs> Understood? <coughs> yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. Dismissed. You know, they might have changed some of the moral points, too, in, uh, in the redo. Edition or whatever, which is what we're playing. There's our first journal, by the way, and the only journal in this level. <clears throat> or note, I guess. I'm sorry. I must do what Hunter demanded of me. What Miller ordered me. What Anna expects of me. 
I must prove to them all that I deserve to be one of them, to be one of the Order's fighters, to dedicate my life to the protection of humanity, the protection of the Metro. This mission is tailor-made for me. I am the only one impervious to the influence of the Dark Ones. Perhaps I was born to rid humanity of them once and for all. And now I am one step from fulfilling that task. So why am I so uneasy? I don't know, man. Why are you uneasy? Anyway. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. I mean, whatever. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. This is the uh, train that I believe we took, the monorail or whatever, that we took um, All right. at the end. Like the end or something like that of the uh, last game. Let's see what's all the way down here. This is actually, I think, the end of the episode. Uh, and this one's kind of long. I'm sorry, it's a really boring episode, but these intro levels are usually like that, you know, in video games, especially story-driven ones like this. Very story-driven shooter. So, but we got our note. In next episode, we're going to go ahead and take on some, some things, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's hop on here now. I don't think there's anything back here. In fact, I'm pretty sure. So, anyways, yeah. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. And <laughs> I didn't expect this Just to start. Just a year ago, no! I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the 